Educators say students missing school is a major issue across the country, and it's something that greatly impacts student success. The time that students spend in school is critical. Um, when we pull them out, they're missing critical learning hours. Karen Hornfeck of the Guilford Education Alliance says many factors contribute to chronic absenteeism, but access to health care is a big one. Both Cone Health and GCS came together to think about how we can offer health care for students in school, keeping them in school, so addressing the increased absentee rates, so parents no longer have to pull their students out. That's why the telehealth initiative was created. One of the things that we found is you could have a telehealth appointment um, using modern technology, using Zoom, and have an appointment with a doctor and deal with some minor issues. And what we found is we could use this to increase access to health care for students. Before telehealth, students would have to leave school and parents would have to miss time at work when a student was sick. Telehealth provides a much easier and faster option. Kids are able to stay in school. Um, they can get a, these you know, minor medical issues addressed right there down the hallway and return to their classrooms. Because of this, supporting the telehealth initiative was something Curtis Holloman of the Foundation of Healthy High Point says just made sense. This telehealth that's using technology allows for a pediatrician and other medical professionals to have access to that kid while they're in school. We don't have that now. The foundation is donating half a million dollars to the initiative. They hope in time, every school will eventually have this option. By piloting this in Title I schools initially, it has the potential to kind of spread. There's a system shift in which every school should have access to basic screening services. Bessemer Elementary was the first school in Guilford County to launch a school-based telehealth clinic. In their first year, they saw 300 students, 240 of which were able to return to class right after their visit. And much more success has been seen. What we're finding is it's dramatically decreased absentee rates. We're also seeing it have an effect on behavior. So students are getting um, issues that may have just floated under the radar, dealt with, so they feel better. By mid-March, telehealth clinics will open in six more elementary schools in the district. In Guilford County, I'm Casey Zanowick, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.